Magical greetings, Erica Sodas here with your August divination. It's going to be very special because the summer is very magical for a gazillion reasons. Every season is magical and has its own special, powerful enchantment. In summer, we have just a plethora of fruits. So today we are going to do a divination with four fruits that I have right here. You can see one because it's very big and they're all in here. Now first, what we're going to do is we're going to get in touch with your intuition. So here we are, end of summer, late summer, and what Mm, what's trying to come through, right? What bit of information can help you in your life? Uh, maybe you're working on healing some sort of quality about yourself, or maybe you have a goal that's just been getting a nice rhythm or not a rhythm, and what information could help you move forward? Whatever it is, what if you have a specific question, great. And if not, if it's just general wisdom. And the reason I say your intuition is I'm less interested in showing off any skills, right? More inspired by helping you tap into your intuition. That's why my show, my psychic show, The Magic Within, is the magic within each of us. So I want you now to just... If you want to close your eyes or keep your eyes open and just take a nice deep breath. Hmm. Really feeling our bodies, right? Where are you sitting? Maybe look around, notice. Here comes uh, Princess Patches, Precious Poppycock McGee. She may make an appearance <laughs> in here. Uh, she's a cat. Uh, she's climbing all over the phone. She wants to knock it over. No, sweetie. Anyway, so getting in touch, right? If you have guides or ancestors or deities you work with, you could call on them to help you. And what is your deepest question? Right? Feel it in your body. Let it infuse you. And when you feel connected to yourself, you can open your eyes and you are going to choose between four different summer fruits. What speaks to you? So we're going to go in size order. So first we have the blueberry. Ah, the blueberry. I have five blueberries here, right? Do you want to pick blueberry to answer your question, you're going to pick a fruit and then I will tell you with the magic and the medicine or share with you the medicine of that plant. So one is blueberry. Two is a uh, peach, right? This is a Colorado peach. This is definitely peach season right now. Yes, I have a tail coming out of my head. Peach. Three, banana. Hello? Yeah, the banana wants to know if you want to pick banana. And then four, watermelon. Okay, which fruit do you feel drawn to? Do you feel drawn to one, blueberry, two, peach, three, banana, or four, watermelon? You got it? You got your fruit? And now, my friends, I will tell you and share with you the meaning of your fruit. All right, so if you picked number one, a blueberry, mmm, yum, yum, yum. As you know, blueberries are considered a brain food, a super food. Their binomial name is, uh, excuse me if I pronounce any of the Latin names incorrect, I love etymology and there's so much magic even in the names and how names progress and the folk names and the Latin names or the Greek names. And so blueberries are vaccinium cesariense, vaccinium cesariense, and they are so delicious. And they also, I believe, have resveratol, which kind of means reverse it all. I like to think about that. So if you chose blueberry, there's a few things. One, now is the time to really 
mm, express yourself, right? Express the blue throat chakra, let it out and learn something. Are you studying a subject? Dive deeper or maybe explore something new. Use your brain. If you picked blueberries, challenge yourself. Maybe express yourself in a new way, showing your intelligence, right? That's if you chose blueberry. And if you chose peach, well, peach's Latin name is, or uh, yes, is uh, amygdalus persica. And I think it's really funny that it's amygdalus because I guess it's related to the almond, right? Because they say the amygdala in our brain, I believe, is shaped like an almond, and that's why they call almonds that. And the amygdala part of our brain, it, I guess it manages the yucky, what we would call yucky emotions, unless you just want to be angry and depressed and fearful all the time, because that's kind of what the amygdala is controlling. And when we think of peaches, you know, it's a demulcent, right? It's a very softening fruit. So freaking delicious. And so, and it's associated with love. It has a lot of uh, magical witchy properties, the peach. And I feel that if you chose this fruit and, and mind you, if this medicine doesn't speak to you and you look at the fruit and you say, this is how I see the fruit, always trust yourself more than me or anybody else. And, and so now is a time to really, what is it that scares you? Work with your fear, your anxiety, right? Maybe let your fear out and just explore it, right? You know, do some shadow work, right? If you don't know what that is, you can ask me. Uh, I have some Scorpio on my chart. So I love shadow work. And also, this is a time for you to love, really love yourself and, 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 and practice some self-care maybe right now because it's kind of cliche and nauseating, but what do they say the opposite of fear is? Love, right? So love your fear. Something that I started practicing a while ago, which really helps me is when I'm in some sort of suffering, I put my hands on my heart and I say, this is a moment of suffering or pain or fear or confusion. You know, can I be kind to myself? And just that, just doing that nourishes me. So that's if you chose amygdalus persica, right? And I, they, they call it that because I believe it was they believe peach was started in Persia, which is Iran now, I'm sure. Um, and that's why it has that name. Oh, that's if you chose peach. Oh, the phone's ringing. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes. Musa Sapientum. That is my favorite Latin name. Musa Sapientum. Is that a magical spell from Harry Potter or what? Musa Sapientum. <laughs> I love bananas so much. Not only are they a phone, but uh, they are so good on a million things. Say, uh, different kinds of, I put them with nut butters, I put them in my cereal, I could literally eat a banana every day. And so, Musa Sapientum, so healthy, right? Potassium, nutrients, all these fruit. Fruit is so healthy, right? It's one of our one of the most wonderful things we can eat, not to mention helps us remember how sweet life is. So if you chose banana, I think of this fruit as courage and using our, our will to make something happen. So now get in touch with your solar plexus, right? Your third chakra, just above your navel and feel, feel that area and maybe do some affirmations about confidence and believing in yourself because you have got this, right? Right. Don't let the capitalistic police tell you that you're not enough because you're not successful enough or making enough money, making enough money. No. If you chose banana, phone, banana, sorry, <laughs> Musa Sapientum, use your magical power. Use that banana as a magical wand to create your dreams, your goals. Go for it is your term if you chose bananas. And last but not least, if you chose number four, watermelon, many people, I just learned recently that not everybody loves watermelon. I thought it was just a 
you know, everybody loved watermelon. Apparently, not everybody. Most people, though. So if you chose watermelon, uh, Citrullus, Citrullus, yes, yeah, Citrullus lanitis, right? Uh, wow. Really, watermelon, think about it. It's mostly water, around 92% of water, yet it has so much nutrients and it's ancient. The, mm, the historical context of this fruit is mind boggling all over the world. And they have found watermelon seeds. Why have they just taken watermelon seeds out? Why must we modify everything humans? Oy vey. They have found watermelon they, seeds over 5,000 years ago in historical sites, archaeological, historical, ancient sites in Libya. And look it up. There's stories about Africa and Egypt and, oh, the watermelon. So if you chose the watermelon, my dears, now is the time for you to really mm, go with the flow. You know, think about water, channel water, spend more time in water. Can you get to a river or a creek? Or if you're really lucky and you live coastal, oh, the ocean. Also, because of watermelon's historical context, I think that if you chose watermelon, it's also a time for you to really get in touch with all your guides helping you, your ancestors, your benevolent ancestors. Think about it. What's in a couple months? Halloween, AKA Samhain. Do you love autumn? If you love autumn, hip hip hooray, yes, we love autumn. Uh, and so if you chose watermelon, Right? That's a time, right? October is when they say the veil is the thinnest, you know, Halloween, Dia de los Muertos. And so create an ancestor altar. If you've thought about learning about your, your origin, your history, your country of birth, learn about the deities that are associated with that place. Now is the time for you to really feel loved. Maybe pray to your loved ones who have passed on. Ask for their assistance if you chose watermelon. And also, again, going with the flow. Can you let go even more? Can you let go? God, hard, right? <laughs> so, but... It feels good when we can surrender. So my friends, I really, 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 really hope you enjoyed this divination um, and it gives you some medicine to move forward. Please reach out, comment. I'd love to hear on which fruit you chose um, and, may, and perhaps think about the medicine and the magic if it speaks to you or if you found a different magic and medicine and then really harness it, right? So if it's mm, blueberry and expressing myself, maybe think about what you want to express and then fill this with the ability to do that. Hold the blueberry and see yourself. And then as you eat it, imagine, right? When you eat the banana, imagine courage filling you, right? You know, people used to store water. They would grow watermelon and store water in dry seasons. This is again, the historical context of, of watermelon, right? So there's so much magic in these fruits. And the reason I like to do divination with things that we have around us is I believe that magic is everywhere. And it's not like, I mean, gosh, yes, I wish I could go to Hogwarts and it was like that. But I try to experience magic in everything I do all day. It's fun, right? It's super fun. Why not? Um, and it gives life meaning and, and more connection. I have a psychic show coming up at the end of September, the 24th and 25th in Colorado. So if you live here and you want to explore more of this psychic magic, the magic in all of us, please, I hope you'll come sign up for my mailing list, subscribe to my channel, and I'm sending you all the love, all the magic and all the positive mojo that I can muster. Erica Sotis out.